We need to play with more positivity, we need to play with uh, aggression and intensity and we need to go to try and get more end product to our game. Keith, Tuesday was obviously a tough evening both for the result and with Dean going. What have you, Paul and the other coaches had to do to get the team ready for Barnsley? Yeah, really sad day uh, on Tuesday, Dave, and I think obviously we've, we've had to have some reflection on it two or three days on. First and foremost, we're all responsible for, the, for Dean's departure. We all feel for Dean as a good man uh, and a good manager. Um, I'm sure he will come back stronger uh, from the experiences and um, you know we've got to now try and address the results um, but you know it's important for us to remember what Dean has done for the football club and we've been really respectful of that and I think the players will realise that uh, Saturday's really important result for a very good man so I think that's the focus we've got to make sure now we've got to uh, tackle Barnsley and make sure that we try and address this slump that we're in um, and we can only do that by hard work the players have come back in a good response on Thursday worked really hard we've got another day to now to prepare so um, we're ready to go football is unusual in that when you lose the head coach and manager things have to move on very quickly how do you do that especially with perhaps a, a squad of of young players who, who are not experienced with that kind of change? Well, it'll be a first time for some that have lost a manager. And it's not just a manager, but a, a man that was really cared for them. And uh, so it's it's not easy to get over it. Uh, what we have to do is work through it. And um, like anything, you know, to get a result and turn a result round, you know, it has to be done on the training field and you have to then perform on the Saturday. So it's really important the players focus in. Um, there's a steely determination to try and put that right. I know that from the response from yesterday's training session. I think we're all conscious, Dave, that we've, we haven't done enough going forward. We haven't threatened the goal enough. We need to play with more positivity. We need to play with uh, aggression and intensity. And we need to go to try and get more end product to our game. Um, so that's the aim. And uh, the players will be determined to try and do that. You've been in the, uh, similar situations before and you managed it all career Keith where you've had to step in when there hasn't been a designated head coach or manager um, what do you draw on in do you draw on those experiences oh absolutely you know I've 27 years in the game so I've had I've had to do this three or four times so um, no I, I think first thing is respectful for the man who's gone and then I think then you have to then look forward and you're trying to um, adjust and trying to get the players galvanized uh, get the staff galvanised and make sure that we're, we you know, we all we all come together and we try and um, we try and obviously get the best out of the team and I think we can only do that by the hard work. I mean, we, we, when you're in a slump, whether the manager goes or isn't, the hard work is the most important thing. You're in control of that, and that's what I'm looking from the players, uh, from not just for Saturday, but for uh, for the weeks to come and even for the new new manager who, who comes in after six defeats do you have to change things drastically can you in a short space of time um, well I think you know we, we have the, the the 16 18 players that are available and I think that sometimes we've tried to shuffle the pack I think we need to be a, a little more positive in our in our forward play so uh, the emphasis in the next few days is to be as positive as we can be uh, take the shackles off a little bit you know uh, try and let them play without any fear not that the fact that they were anyway, uh, but that's what we're trying to aim for them to uh, go into the game. Uh, and again, working hard, work with intensity, um, and let's try and get out of this slump by doing that. Team news wise, from Tuesday, Henry Lansbury got a bit, bit yeah. of a kick in the nether regions. Yeah. Uh, how is he today? Well, we're checking on him this morning. He didn't train yesterday, but we're checking on him this morning. And obviously, if he trains, uh, he'll be available for selection. Uh, the rest have reported in okay, so um, we go again. You know, we've got we've got uh, you know we've got players that are, that want to obviously play. There's people vying for positions, so uh, we'll have a look at it today and then decide. What about the threat of, of Barnsley coming to Ashton Gate? How do you see that? Uh, well, they they they've got a very direct way of playing. They've got a front three that can cause you problems. Uh, they've got a midfield player that can score goals in Mowat. Um, they, they have a way of playing, Dave, that is very efficient and, uh, and very successful. So they had a good result in midweek against Blackburn, which we watched. And, um, you know, they'll come with a bit of confidence. Um, but it's about us, Dave. I mean, you know, this moment in time, we, we can't, you can't worry about oppositions. We're respectful of them. But it's about us, about being on the front foot and playing with some aggression, playing with some intensity. Um, 
and as I said, try and get more end product, try and get down the pitch, just try and get some more crosses and play in their half and make sure that we are uh, performing to that level.